Chris Pettit, WBA Super Bantamweight Intercontinental Champion. I'm fighting this Saturday on Bad Blood. It's been my 15th fight. I'm ready to go and get the win. So, okay, so this is your 15th fight. Is this the biggest fight of your career so far? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every time I get stepped up now, I'm in the, since I won the WBA, I'm in the world rating. So, yep. I've got, I want to push on and try and really climb them ratings now and fight sterner opposition. This Argentinian's good. I've watched him. Watched him on YouTube on a couple of clips. He's boxed good people. He's got a couple of world champions on his record. So yeah. I mean, it's a good fight for me at this point in my career. So I mean, coming to this fight, Lewis. You know, it's a massive card, right? So how do you ensure that you are not overshadowed by the rest of the card? I mean, I'm, I'm first live fight on, so I'm looking forward to getting out there, putting on a wicked show, starting yeah. it off for everyone really good, and yeah. then sitting back and watching all the rest of the fights. So what does it feel like sitting down there with all the other fighters and, you know, Fury and Chisora ahead in the bill? What does it feel like? Yeah, I mean, it's good. I'm, I've been lucky enough to box on the other, the copper box one with Fury and Chisora. We're on the same right. bill together, so you had a little taste of there where they were lining them up. Right. Then obviously, this one again now, yeah. I, I can't wait now, they're actually getting it on, there's been no injuries, all the fights are on, it's such yep. a good, such, about time we had a bit of luck and got them all together on the night with no pull outs. Being a, w, a WBA champion, even if it's like an interim belt or, or you know, intercontinental belt, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's, it's great, I mean I'm top, I'm top 10 in the world, so it's, a, it's amazing, not many people can do that and I really yeah. want to push on and climb it now, if I can get get a couple more good wins under my belt for my belt then yep. I'll push right on and hopefully get get top five or top three or something like that if we sit down after this fight with Frank all goes well Saturday and a lot look of, at a new plan yeah a lot of the boxing rooms they talk about um, these bogus belts or these, these these belts that but for me I've always looked at it as an opportunity for fighters to move up the rankings and you know it's a good way to get some more income as well What's your thoughts about this? It's exactly the same. It's great. It's great to learn and have learning fights. It's yep. great to sell tickets. Your fans don't want to come watch you just do a ten round. Right. The minute they know the belts on the line, they want to come because oh, you fight for a belt. Right. So it helps that way. It sells the fight more. And I mean, it's for your own self. You've got something out of it. Right. But I'm, that belt's never going away from me now. I've got right. that forever. Do you know what I mean? I don't plan on losing it Saturday, but it doesn't matter what happens. That belt's always mine. Do you know what I mean? So I'm really excited to always defend it, and I'm lucky that I've got it at the moment and I plan on keeping it. There are people out there that say that once a, ch well, a person wins a title they become a better fighter. Yeah. Explain how that's affected Louis Petit. Uh, definitely, I mean you get a buzz when you look, people people tweeting me and Facebook me, oh I notice you're in the world ratings, oh I notice you're here, oh so and so's calling you out or this. When people are talking about you it means you're doing something good so obviously it, it's a good feeling. You get in bars, you go to the gym a lot happier, you're training hard and naturally more things, you, you've always been able to do it but you just you're enjoying it a lot more and that's what happened to me. As soon as I won the belt, I started enjoying boxing that little bit more and you get an extra 10% out of yourself. And you do up that level as a fighter and you don't want to lose the belt. So you train that little bit harder all the time, more to push for and fight for. Lewis Petit, thank you so much for talking to Bayloric TV. Thank you.